Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over how to the thought process thought process that you need to figure out how to use algebra when you have an isosceles equilateral or right triangle in a problem similar to this. So we're going to try to find this side and this side of this particular triangle given the information that we know, okay? So, I usually try to always start a problem by writing down what do I know? And that's really important. I'm not just saying that. What do I know from the information that's given to me, okay? Now, I know that this angle and this angle are equal because of the markings that are here. And so I have to ask myself, and let's, for the sake of writing things down, let's just go ahead and label our own labeling system. We'll call it A, B, and C, all right? So what do I know? I know that angle A is basically equal to angle B because of the information that's given here. And if they're equal, that tells me that it's one type of triangle that I have up here. Now, what kind of triangle has two equal angles? And that would be isosceles or maybe equilateral, right? But in this case, we only know that two of them are. So we think it's probably an isosceles triangle. So if these, this is true, then I know that an isosceles, we have an isosceles triangle. Now, what do I know about isosceles triangles? Well, if isosceles triangles have the opposite, two sides are also equal, right? Now, I'm using something called the base angle theorem. And what do I mean by that? Base angle theorem. These are all things I know now, right? I know that the base angle theorem says that if two angles in a triangle are congruent, that means that their opposite sides are also congruent. In this case, they would be equal. So what does that tell me here? That basically tells me 4x minus 2, this side, is equal to 3x plus 3. So now I can actually start solving this problem and solving for the x. So 4x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 3, okay? And now I can start using algebra to find the sides of this particular triangle, at least these two sides here, because that's what I'm being asked to do. So let's go ahead and start this. And remember, that's all because I wrote down what I knew and some of the theorems that I was able to, uh, to uh, remember. So let's get the x's on one side, the numbers on the other side. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And that way I'll get rid of this negative 2 here. So that's going to give me 4x is equal to 3x plus 5. And now let's go ahead and put the x onto this side. So let's subtract 3x from both sides. And that's going to give me x is equal to 5. So once I've got x equal to 5, I'm going to plug this back in to the individual uh, um, uh, phrases on either side of this triangle and figure out what this side length is. So now I've got, let's go ahead and evaluate. That's called evaluating. Evaluate 4x minus 2 by subbing x is equal to 5. So let's do that. That's going to give me 4 times 5 minus 2, or 20 minus 2, or 18. So if this side's 18, let's see if this side works out to be 18. So we're going to evaluate the same thing, but we're going to evaluate 3x plus 3. Remember, whenever you substitute a number, go ahead and put it in parentheses. So I'm going to do that. That's going to give me 15 plus 3, and sure enough, I get 18 as well. So in this case, the x is equal to 5. In this isosceles triangle, uh, line segment AC is equal to 18. Line segment BC is equal to 18. Okay, I hope that was helpful.